Cutters, I'm back and today we're going to take a look at the Doge version 2. Um, um, this is a really big itemizer, it's a 26650 version of the Doge version 3 if I'm right. Um, so, first the basics, stainless steel, um, copper center post, we have massive airflow slots and obviously it's a dripping itemizer so you don't have a tank. Now I'm rocking this thing on my Hammer of God box mod and last video I said I don't have a face camera or I don't have a good face camera. This thing should record in 1080p so we can take a look at how this thing babes now. And I'm gonna take a few drags and you can tell me what you think of it. I think this box is just great and the volt drop is minimal. We're gonna make some more later on when I'm going back to the face camera. Um, so, we're gonna go up close and take a look at the internals of this thing. But let me say a few things first. So, this dripping atomizer has two things which I wanna take um, at the beginning so you don't have to watch the whole video to, to say, okay, don't wanna chase it. First thing, this thing is a 26650 version, so it won't fit on 20mm atomizers. Uh, mods or some box mods which have a really small diameter. So if you got a box mod like, uh, for example, if you got any kind of um, 20 mm device, then this thing won't fit, or it will make a huge gap. I've put this thing on my on my Ego One when I still had it, and that was hilarious. Trust me. Uh, next thing, this thing is made for cloud chasing, I guess. Not really for flavor chasing because this chamber here is just huge and you can't really get a good flavor out of it. Whenever you want a flavor atomizer, you should take a look at some other ones like Derringer or the Plume Veil. The Plume Veil is one of the classics when it's going to flavor. Um, next thing is that you can pack really, really thick wire in here, but on the other side, if you take smaller wire now, like I did, I only have 30 gauge cancel right here because when I was at my vape shop, they didn't have anything bigger in stock. So I had to build with 30 mm, 30 gauge wire. And 30 gauge wire, trust me, it just looks a little bit lost in there. It's tiny coils and they... I, sh I think you should build with 30 gauge wire on 22 mm atomizers. But it had nothing else, so I'm using this. Um, for the box mod, these batteries aren't really fully charged. I can look how much volts are in them right now. Thanks to the play to the display. I love this thing. So let's take a look. 3.7 volts shall be in there. Should be in there. Um, I doubt that. No, I don't doubt that. It's okay. I'm firing this atomizer with 3.3. Three point four one, three point four seven, three point four eight volts. So something in the three point four volt region. Let's take another drag, and then we go up close. So we are up close and personal with the Doge version twenty six six fifty. Um, it comes with a bag of goodies, which include a finished coil, a screwdriver and some screws and that's basically it. Um, if you pull the top cap off, it's getting held by two O-rings. We can see the deck, simple three post design. Um, we got Phillips head screws instead of grub screws, which I really like. Let me screw that down a little bit. So, post holes aren't too big, but you can definitely fit some thicker gauge wire in there. I think 24 gauge uh, was the last build I had in there, apart from the build I um, done myself and what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this right here those are 30 gauge six reps around three millimeters and we're gonna install that now um, I'm gonna take my wire cutter real quick and now we can start so first thing we're gonna do is basically install the coil um, 
Now I don't want to build a horizontal coil, so I will trans uh, translate this thing into a vertical coil by bending it later. But we're gonna install it first. So first thing you want to do with this atomizer, if you got a really big coil, is that you're gonna place it like this. Then you are tightening the center post. That is a really important thing. Oops. Now you're gonna take your um, screwdriver that you wrapped around, place it in here, and wind it like this, and then center this thing. Just like this, nice, nice and tidy. And because the airflow holes are so high, you wanna bring your coil up to at least the level of the center post, of the higher level of the center post, So I'm back, I'm sorry, my camera just died and yeah, well, what I did in the meantime was clipping the leads of this thing right here and installing the second coil. Now what we're gonna do, because it's already in there, we're gonna tighten down the uh, negative post and when it's nice and tight, right now, don't over tighten, otherwise you just clip your your leads. Um, so then we're gonna push that in and center it as well. Just like this. Nice and tidy, get it nice and high up. Now next thing we're gonna do is, oh shit. Okay, we're gonna leave it in there and then we're gonna tighten the positive post or the center post. Just like this, nice and Tight. If it's not tight, you can get your ohms jumping up and down, which is not good, especially when you are vaping on a regulated box. Now you see that this thing right here looks actually pretty disgusting and uh, bad, so I'm going to compress it like this and fix it up. Now later when it's glowing out, um, the wire gets softer and it's going to stick. So that's what we're going to do here. Now we're going to glow this thing. So. Pulse it, not... Oh, first we're gonna clip the leads, I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, clip negative lead. You can wiggle it off sometimes, but I usually don't. But as you see, this coil still moves, so I gotta tighten it some more. So it is really stiff. Coil doesn't wobble. I could just wiggle it off, but I'm not going to. I'm clipping it. That is a safer way, trust me. Now we're going to clip this. This is a little bit hard because you need to clip the lead, not the coil. <laughs> that's over it, but that should be okay. So let's tighten down this negative post just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna pulse the thing. Only pulsing, not holding. Ugh, it doesn't look good. They are not firing equally, but we're gonna fix that by pressing it. Always press or fire, not this same, not at the same time. Otherwise, you will short your atomizer out. This coil is already looking good, but the other one isn't. This thing is glowing first way too fast, faster than the other one, and second, it is pretty widespread. I'm gonna reduce it. This cord is not going to function, I have a problem. The 
it's taking longer than normal. Normally you just do it in a few seconds. But this one is always lighting up faster than the other one. So what I'm going to do is... I just saw this is not equally high, so I'm going to bring it up a little. They are still not glowing evenly. If they are not glowing evenly, I get to change it out. I can't see the mistake either. Now they're glowing evenly. I like that. I like to see that. Now let's bend it a little bit forward. But from base on, they're not glowing evenly. This is a bad thing. Maybe it could press this a little bit more. Now it works. So now we're gonna put some wick in there. First, blow on your coils a little bit to cool them down. Not too much, just a little bit to just cool them down. You can touch them, stuff like this. So let's take off my cotton. Now this cotton is rolled up in sheets and you're gonna take one sheet this already has been cut, so I'm going to take this one, roll the rest back together and put it in the package. Then you take your scissors and take a good, stripe, a good strip of it. Now, be sure to not, do not take too much, because if you take too much, you won't, can, you won't fit it in the coil. That's the problem, but usually it should work. Just like this, roll it between your hands, just like you would roll some cookie stuff or something just as you would roll something <laughs> any uh, other so now i'm going to place it in here take it about the middle and then um, some people c um, cut off the uh, the ends of it but i just put it in there because i know that i have the room to do it and as you see beautiful beautiful wick same thing on the other side and you can really feel that this cotton is dense just like this put it in till you reach the middle just like this and it should fit rather snug in there not too tight but rather snug just like this beautiful coil now everything we need is juice if you fire your atomizer without juice well you get a dry hit if you do that and you will burn up the cotton so i'm just gonna paint this on you because there is 50 50 blend a little bit cool so it is really sick and the cotton doesn't really want to absorb it but if you just paint it on there it works if you get get gaps like there, um, you can just put it on there. Now, one thing you're gonna do is when it's already juiced up a little bit, you fire it one time, and that sucks the juice into the cotton a little bit, not much, but a little bit. And now we should have a working build. Let's look at it. That is definitely higher than 0.3 ohms. So with every call there's a breaking pe break in period. Um, I'm not completely 
fabulous this coil build isn't fabulous I'm not completely fabulous at coil building and but it is just a coil and it shows what I wanted to show you and it can basically hold a ton of juice because you got a grass deep juice well and it's big because it's a 30 millimeter device or more I don't really know how much it is in diameter but you're gonna get back to FaceTime and vape it there is not gonna be a huge cloud because I messed up something normally those coil builds work but I'm gonna do a coil building video for you guys and then you will see which coils work how So guys, we're back up. Um, you will notice three things. First, lighting is bad because outside it is dark. It's already be night. My children is magically changed and my hairstyle. <laughs> and the build on the set of mine. Because the bed that the other day was so bad, wasn't really showing off the atomizer potential. So I threw a new one in here. Three straps of cancel. Wrapped in parallel five times. Did it five? No, four times, sorry. Mistake by me. We are rocking this thing with 3.47 volts. I've seen it measuring 3.5, something between that, okay? So, um, let's blow some clouds and then I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Oh, this thing's already getting dry. Let me get my juice. Then we will continue on. Um, so dripping on this coils now is really easy because they're pretty big. They got a lot of surface area. And the cotton I stuffed in there. It's not much, but you can't really pack so much cotton in a 30 mm device. If you're wrapping uh, on a little bit tighter wraps and with 30 gauge wire. I still don't got sicker wire because I couldn't get one basically. In my local vape shop they don't got one and there's a vape shop I was they don't got the wire I need. They got thinner wire but not sicker wire. So I'm stuck with 30 gauge for now but that will change obviously. Um, so let's wrap this thing up. I bought it. Um, it's a 26650 version of the Doge version 2. Um, it's, it's from my understanding a clone. I've Review the package and stuff like that. Um, okay, so for me, what is great for me is the airflow. It's wide open. It doesn't get this cyclone effect, so the airflow holes are at a 45 degree angle, but that's not a biggie for me. Um, it is good as it stands. It got a really open draw, which I like. Um, it got this drip cap, so this really big. Um, drip tip, drip cap, I'm calling it drip cap. Um, you must decide if you like it. I myself, I like it and I'm used to bigger drip, drip tips. I said I rocked on Ego one before, I just basically took the drip tip off and um, sucked right out of the top. Um, this thing's really blowing clouds and you can see that with 30 gauge wire, but when I got sick of wire and we're doing all the coil building tutorials, which will be coming, uh, you will see that there is a lot of potential in there with thicker wire. Um, so, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Um, basically because of the fact that it fits nicely on my atomizer. If you want a 26650 atomizer that fits, then take this one. Um, I'm not saying it's the best, but it's the best for your buck. It's a good deal. Um, and you can't really do much, not much wrong with it. The post holes are pretty big, as you might saw in the close-up, and you can easily fit thicker wire in there or a lot of strings of thinner wire. Um, another thing I really like is that you can't really overdrip it. There is a point where it's getting messy when you turn it upside down or there's a side or something, or you're running with it. Um, but overdripping is not an issue with this thing. The airflow slots are, slots are really high, and I didn't have this thing leaking on me. When I was doing everything right. If you overdrip it, it can leak, but only if you turn it like in a weird angle or you're running with it. Uh, I was running with it just not <laughs> just today, and this thing sprinkled everywhere just because I overdripped it. Um, 
the clouds you get out of this are nice with 38, with 38 wire. Nothing special, but nice. But if you are getting like a sicker wire and you're building really low sub ohms and your mod can handle it, obviously, please check on battery safety. You need good batteries for this build. Um, then this thing is really a beast. Got tons of airflow. It got a lot of room to pack cotton and wire, which is one thing I like about those bigger edwines. You can really pack sick wire in there. You could even take 20 gauge cancel, wrap it like with four strains around maybe, let me see, five times or something, and it will still function. It's great. Um, it will still fit in there. You can do those those twisted cancel builds, just like the Clapton coil or something, in here with, a, with ease. It's just simple. Uh, alien wire is another thing. I've not tried it on here, but I guess it would fit. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for now. So, would I buy it again? Yes. Should you buy it? Yes, obviously. This is my first drip and I'm pretty impressed with it. So if you're getting a first, your first drip room and a 30 millimeter or 26 and 50 device actually fits on your device, then just go for it. There's so much you can do wrong with 20, with 20 millimeter device. If you're getting these really, really small things like Derringer RDA and you want to pull clouds and not chase flavor, then you might have a problem or uh, overall it is bigger so you, you're you getting away with a lot of mistakes at the beginning when you're building coils. So definitely it is a good bang for your buck. And that's it for today. If you liked it, please like it, comment, it's free. And if you would subscribe, that would be great and make my day. Thank you for watching.